a mad. And I don't want to sound like some kind of degenerate or hippie, but part of the reason why I'm angry in the first place is because you can't voice any kind of dissenting opinion without people pointing at you like, he's a radical. Let's not take him seriously. Now, it's been pointed out time and time again that entertainers and comedians and people like that are like the only people that are allowed to actually say what's on their minds and tell the truth to people. But the reason that they're able to do this is because it's all watered down by the fact that it's entertainment. Meanwhile, politicians and TV pundits and journalists basically always lie to some extent but they all have an agenda that often clashes with their implied obligation to tell us the truth. Now, I consider myself liberal, and I hesitate to use the term, but I'm not going to bullshit you and pretend that I'm some kind of like centrist or something because I'm not. Like, if I made a list of all my political and social viewpoints, you would call me a liberal. But even when I watch TV or read news blogs from people that I'm supposed to agree with, I'm still very conscious of the fact that they're warping reality to suit their agenda. They're emphasizing certain things and de-emphasizing other things that aren't necessarily represented the same way in reality. On the other hand, when I think of entertainers that deal with social issues like George Carlin or Bob Marley, I don't see a person that's warping reality. I see a person that's up there telling me something that they actually believe is true. But of course, they're doing it in a way that's entertaining to people. And we think it's okay for people to warp reality as long as there's two sides. As long as one person tells one side of the story and the other person tells another side of the story, it'll all mesh together and equal out and cancel out or something like that. But no, that's not how it works. There's no two sides to truth. Either something is true or not true. True. One of them is right and one of them is wrong. Or they're both wrong, which is probably more likely. See, in America, we don't make political decisions based on facts and common sense. I mean, you want to fix the economy, why don't you go fucking talk to an economic analyst who knows what the fuck they're talking about? Mr. Politician, I don't give a fuck about your views on the economy because you are not an economist. You are a politician. You did not get your facts from respected peer-reviewed sources. You pulled them out of your ass to fit your agenda. You want to balance the budget, well, why don't you fucking talk to a financial expert who's analyzed the situation. I'm not saying it's easy to fix these things, but I'm saying if these assholes actually gave a shit about fixing them, then it would go a lot smoother. But the thing is, politicians don't give a fuck about making the country a better place. All they care about is making money, winning elections, and pleasing their lobbyists. They don't care about the consequences of their policies. They don't care what history has to say, and they don't care what experts have to say. And these news organizations don't give a fuck about the truth either. All they care about is high ratings and, of course, making money. And, of course, that's bullshit, but that's not even what really makes me mad. What makes me mad is that we know this for a fact, yet we still continue to play this fucking game. We sit at home and we watch a presidential debate, and we know for a fact that everything that everyone on that stage is saying is complete bullshit. We know this for a fact, yet we still watch it, we still talk about it, it still makes headlines. The news panel still sits around the table and they still talk about it like it's not the absurd freak show that it is. I mean, does that not make you mad? Like, why do we fucking put this shit on TV? Why do we glorify this nonsense? And you know how I know that we know this because every time there's someone on TV that doesn't fucking bullshit us every day, we become superficially entranced by them. Yeah, you know I'm talking about people like Jon Stewart, who everyone loves, but the thing is, Jon Stewart doesn't say anything groundbreaking, he just doesn't lie, which is so simple. But the thing is, that's not enough because we're so used to this circus. And I'll be honest, people like Jon Stewart used to actually give me comfort that there was like something out there that just wasn't complete bullshit. Now, for me personally, this includes shows like The Daily Show, Real Time with Bill Maher, Penn and Teller Bullshit, like for me, those shows were like people that actually believe what they say. You know, people that just didn't fall into the same stupid bullshit. But what do all those shows have in common? They're all fucking comedy shows. They're entertainment first, social commentary second. And I'm sure that's on purpose. I'm sure that's the only way that they'd even be on TV. But you can't sit here and tell me that fucking comedians are the only people in the entire world that can see this bullshit. Well, of course not, but they're the only people that's going to get a TV show to talk about it. And I'm not saying I agree with every single thing that any of those people say, because I don't. But the thing is, I respect it because I believe that it's honest. But the problem is, after The Daily Show or Real Time goes off, the people are going to change the channel and start watching South Park or Dexter or some bullshit and they're going to continue playing the same game because even though they just spent a half hour to an hour hearing some real and necessary shit, it was all watered down with jokes and nobody's going to take it seriously. And Jon Stewart sits behind his desk and he talks about these serious issues like people not having jobs or being able to afford health care and he says it all with a big smile on his face because he's getting his check and in fact he probably hopes that more fucked up shit happens because that's what his job is. Meanwhile, we the people that just 
fucked up shit is actually happening to. We just sit back and we continue to play this fucking game. And every four years, we're going to go vote for another fucking liar that doesn't give a shit about us, just like we always do. And then we're going to go home, sit at the TV and watch Jon Stewart and talk about that dude's brilliant. Why isn't he the president? And that's how it is. And there's nothing we can do about it. It's the fucking game. There's no alternative. All the properties have been bought. There's hotels on every space. We can't fucking start the game over. And no, Jon Stewart's never going to be the president because that's not the game. Everything that makes sense in this country has to be watered down with jokes so we can make room for all the bullshit that the news channels need to talk about. I mean, yeah, you can listen to socially and politically conscious music, but we'll put it on the radio right in between songs about glitter and penises and threesomes. And yeah, maybe there's a little bit of honest reporting on TV, but we'll put it right after Tosh makes fun of fat people on the internet. And that's why I'm angry. Let me know what you think in comments. I'm about to go home to my family and have a nice meal and hopefully calm myself down. Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you are ready to wrap up this year. And I hope 2011 didn't piss you off as much as it did me.